Taurus, welcome to your reading. This is a new love reading for Taurus. In the recent past, the energy for new love just wasn't there. Your heart space couldn't handle the difficulty that you'd had in something recently in terms of your love life. You've walked away. You feel as though someone really defeated you in love, that they betrayed you, that they stabbed you in the back, but you're in this beautiful Capricorn energy of attracting somebody who's going to be there for you, Taurus. You are attracting someone who's reliable, very nurturing, somebody who has their act together. You are attracting a new love that's very reliable, sexy, nurturing, and kind, but someone who definitely does Monday through Sunday, very well. The High Priestess in the energy about how people see you. They feel as though you're very secretive, that you keep to yourself. You are also attracting someone who is a Cancerian or Pisces, someone who is uh, plays their cards close to the chest, someone who doesn't gossip, someone who's also very nurturing and kind, Taurus. The way you are viewed in the singles world of dating is happily ever after. You, Taurus, are the ultimate catch. This is a card of great joy, great happiness. It is a card of committed relationship and marriage. So you may be attracting very strong Pisces energy here with a fellow Earth sign of Capricorn. What is happening right now in your love life is you have Virgo energy. You are attracting a Virgo or someone who moves very slowly and very methodically in the ways of love. This person does the work. They're not in a hurry. They're taking their time. They're getting to know you. This is a person who's very reliable, but also very artistic. This is a person who likes to smell the roses, so to speak. They're very earthy. They really have quite a lovely way of doing things and a nice demeanor, very polite, very kind, very giving very service oriented. We have new love coming in for you as you toss caution to the winds, Taurus. Aquarius energy, it's very enlightened energy. You have closed out a cycle that was difficult and now you're moving into this energy of having fun, laughing, enjoying life again. Taking that leap of faith, knowing that when you dive into the water, or if you do dive into the water, it will be to meet your Pisces. The energy that's coming in that you don't see coming is a beautiful, again, Pisces energy. So these are energies. They are not necessarily people, but we have a wonderfully romantic offer coming in. Someone who's going to offer you the sweet things in life, roses, love notes, picnics, a time when you can really step back, Taurus, and not focus on work and what your security is, but someone who can really help you enjoy day-to-day -day life very romantic person, someone who adds a lot of sweetness and kindness to your life, but they also keep you going because the knights are always on the move. So Taurus, as they move towards you in this beautiful energy, you will enjoy the a ride. You will enjoy the journey. Ooh, Spirit is saying, choose the person who plans, choose the person who pursues you, Choose the person who shows you in tangible ways how much they care about you. When we get the Emperor card, Spirit is advocating for you in your love life that you make stealthy moves, that you play your cards close to your chest. Someone's going to come in and they are playing for keeps. They are playing for long-term commitment. They are playing the game of life to win it with the laws of attraction a strong Aries energy, a strong presence with someone who is very passionate, that has a very strong leadership type aura about them. This is often in real life the sign of the a very successful entrepreneur or someone who is very high up in the corporate world, someone who is a leader in your community. 
your outcome for new love is the magician card you have all the tools it takes you are manifesting a brand new magical love that has a lot of chemistry this is virgo and gemini energy what will be the key to your relationship is that both of you will be able to communicate very well with one another Let's look and see what the clarifiers are for this reading and see what the details, what are your love details in love at this time, Taurus. The Ten of Swords energy. Why is the Ten of Swords here in the recent past? Why is the Ten of Swords here? And how will it affect your new love? How will it affect your, your journey forward? Well, you're not going to rush into physical love making right away. You're going to let people compete for your attention. You're going to stay very steady. You may be attracting a very, a very, very dedicated Leo energy, but you are going to pay attention to the red flags and you're not going to be involved with anyone who is too ego driven because it looks as though pushing for passion is a boundary that you are not willing to cross. You will stand in your power, your dignity, and your grace at this time, Taurus. You are a fixed sign. You are not going to budge. You're not going to allow anyone to rush you or push you in any way. The hanged man reverse you are you have a very clear cut picture about what you want you've gone inside you've thought about what you need you thought about what you want when we see this in the upright you're still in the process but now you have concluded the sort of period of self-examination someone comes in a capricorn energy or earth sign energy comes in and makes you a substantial offer Let's see why you would throw caution to the winds now. Honey, I'm home. Ooh, someone else is throwing caution to the winds. Very strong Cancerian vibe. The emperor, however, always drives the chariot. The energy of this Cancerian high priestess, Pisces energy, Cancerian energy, very nurturing, very kind, very loving. This person is watching you from afar. I don't think that you know them, but they have seen you around town. When they walk around, when you're just doing your normal life, you've come across this person and you've not noticed them, but they noticed you. So let's look, Taurus, and see what the details are of this attraction. They see you as very, that's Virgo energy. This person sees you as pre-empress energy. This person sees you as single, ready to mingle. Somebody who doesn't need anyone else. You are beautiful, beautifully dressed, beautifully kept in the way that you do keep yourself. The Ace of Swords says that you're dealing with somebody who's very honest, who's very straightforward. They are discreet. They too have gone through a rough time in their love life. They've left their burdens behind and they're ready to embark on a new journey with you. The energy is the Ten of Coins. Now that is Virgo energy, but it is legacy love. Legacy love is love that is very bountiful, very plentiful. It is inheritances. It's the legacy of having a family that is able to provide very well and beautifully for everyone in the family. It's all about the legacy of deep emotion, of trust, of children, of of creating a heritage and basically a family history book of which you would be very proud. It's very passionate. We see that big red coin. The passionate commitment also is with the emblem of the dog on that card. What do we have here? We have this beautiful Pisces happily ever after marriage energy. The Ace of Coins, by the way, does often signify an engagement ring. But at the beginning of the relationship, somebody will offer you a substantial opportunity. They will do it very strategically because they want to build a strong foundation. 
So what we see is this comes out of the blue for you. You have fire in your belly for a relationship, Taurus. You have not fully healed quite yet for many of you, but we do see you staying close to home and very close to your heart space. You definitely know what you want and you're moving towards that, but you also are not going to move forward without a partner. When we get the six of swords and the upright, we get you moving away, healing, maybe even moving physically, but in the reversal, we get that you are going to let things play out the tower card says that your person comes in very unexpectedly. I think that they're possibly still healing. But when we look at this Virgo energy, slowly moving forward, doing the work. And Taurus, there you are in your reading. You have made an appearance. You are attracting the kind of love that someone is willing to develop over time. You are meeting a like-minded person, a kindred spirit, if you will. Somebody who's very kind, very passionate, much like yourself. It could be another Taurus or an, an, another Earth sign. You are standing in your power. You are allowing people to compete for you. And while you stay calm, cool, and collected, we see that you are going to get your victory in love. We have the victory card is a Leo energy. This person that's coming in, Taurus, very much wants to take the leap of faith with you. They want to introduce you to their friends. They want to take you out. They want to be in the limelight with you. They want to have a very public display of your relationship. This person has no, no willingness whatsoever to let anyone else swoop in and get your attention away from them. Very strong Leo energy. It also could be an Aries. We also have a very strong energy here of Cancerian love. What we see in this card of the Knight of Cups, you very much know that knights are on the move. You are not likely to take the offer from a knight. You want an offer from a king, somebody who's stable. I see that you may have a soft spot in your heart for this person. You may still yearn from somebody for the past. It looks as though you're not really telling anybody or admitting that you still would like this person in your life. But as we see here, we see pay attention to the red flags. And one of the red flags is someone who comes and goes. I see that you've want, walked away from that sort of energy in the past and you are paying very close attention currently to anyone would who would have in and out energy with you. When we get the Emperor card, we get somebody who's stable. This is what spirit has picked out for you. This is the person who has strong leadership skills, who still has all the passion, the happiness, and the capability to drive the chariot, to, to toss caution to the winds, and to know that they will give you what you need and alter your life. It will be a love like no other. It is a death and rebirth of all your thoughts, feelings, and expectations, except this time it's successful. This is a time when you are going to rebuild your entire love life, and it's going to be based on this beautiful happiness, the happiness of the sun card, something healthy and vibrant, something that feels good every day, something that leaves you always certain of what the day will bring. We have temperance card. You are tempering your desire for passion. Um, you are tempering your desire for somebody who's romantic that doesn't stick around. You're very grounded at this time. You may be attracting this beautiful Sagittarius energy, somebody who could be from a different culture, a different ethnicity, a different age, a different country, but you are very much in your power. You are balancing out old wounds, old hurts. You are healing. The Magician card is also Magus the Healer, very much um, a healing energy that goes on beneath the surface. 
you are waiting for your person to come in. You you look like you're a little bored there, Taurus. But you are going to have a beautiful. Ah, I just pulled that. That's so gorgeous. You that is new love so you are paying attention to the red flags taurus this is a beautiful new love reading for you leaving it there taurus thank you so much please like subscribe share and comment thank you